Who's still taking calls on today's quiz? And the question I'm asking you today is, what is the name of Jack Custo's boat? What is the name of Jack Custo's boat? I'm it's the Calypso that Winter. Man. That's it, Calypso. <laughs> Three pine beans. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Bobby. Tom's turned to pay for the pie and beans. Bobby, come on now. I'm on the phone, please. Oh, here we go. Ben and Teller. Sorry, Bobby. No way, you. We're magicians. Oh, are they? Aye. Aye, that's good, aye. Well, get us two pine beans before I make this boot disappear up your arse. <laughs> oh, Eric Winston. Tom, how are you doing? Just, just do it, Victor. Thomas Mullen, 25 Ratlock Road, Craig Lang. Saga radio quiz. OK, now we have online a Mr Thomas Mullen from Craig Lang. Hello, Thomas, how are you? Hello! I don't believe I'm through. Well, you are. Can you tell us a wee bit about yourself, Thomas? I'm a, I'm a businessman. Oh, OK, can I ask you what sort of business that is? Beetroot. I'm in the beetroot business. I say that's very unusual. I don't think we've ever had anyone on in the beetroot business before, so you sell it, do you? Well, I'm a supplier, you know. M&S, Sainsbury's, Tesco, all the big stores. OK, is it beetroot in jars? Oh, both types, uh, crinkly and balls. <laughs> Family, then. Eight sons and four daughters. Oh, I yeah, have a large house and a, a big jag. Yes, yeah, beetroot's been very good to me. Okay, okay. You remember we asked you what was the name of Jack Cousteau's boat? That would be the Calypso. Guess what, Thomas? What's that? That's absolutely right. Congratulations, Thomas. You've won a pair of theatre tickets for this coming Friday for the first night of Uncle Vanya at the Citizens Theatre. And as an added bonus, a pre-theatre meal for two at Solana's Restaurant. Tell me, do you enjoy the theatre? She does. Uh, beetroot's my life. Well, I'm sure you'll both enjoy yourselves. In the meantime, congratulations again and thanks for calling. <laughs> what are you all about, eh, Tam? Big hoose jag. Eh, beat Ruby Christ. It's the radio, it's all fun, they can't see you. It's a perfect opportunity to be somebody else for a laugh. Mm. Meal for two and a night at the theatre. Oh, you bastard. What? <laughs> Francis is away at her sister's at the weekend. <clears throat> Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen. I have a meal for two at the fine Salernos, starter, main course and pudding, Followed by a very entertaining night at the theatre. Do I have fifty pounds? Oh, I'm fifty pounds in the room for the whole package. Ten quid. Ten quid, Jesus. We have ten pounds. Do I hear twenty? No, you don't hear twenty. You hear ten because you didn't pay anything for it. Twenty. I'll go myself. Ah, oh, well, that's what today then, Tam, eh? You go yourself, eh? Jam two meals down your neck and then spread your fat ass over the two seats and enjoy the show. Ten quid. What about you guys? No, no. Last time I went to the theatre was at Peter Powers. Naughty, naughty hypno show. That's right, cos he got up on the stage and... ..he made him eat an onion and then he got his cock out. What's this boy called? Uncle Vanya. It's about an uncle. <laughs> called Vanya. <laughs> what about you, Bobby? Does this boy Vanya eat an onion and get his cock out? I don't think so. Ten pound. Sold. Sold. <laughs> Five pine beans. <laughs> <laughs> this is smashing. Pizza there. Spaghetti bolognese. Uh -huh. Who's Paulo? It's fish, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Right, me and up. Evening, ladies. Evening, gentlemen. Nice here, isn't it? Aye, aye. Shame we've got to go to the theatre. Russian garbage. Uh, bottle of wine and a bolognese inside us. We'll be snoring by the time the curtain goes up. We don't have to go, you know. No, we do not. Right, we'll stop our faces, then we'll head up the clan for Aye, aye, aye. Good call. Bloody Uncle Vajna. Varnia. Aye, Varnia. It's Vanya. Excuse me? The play is Vanya. Are you going? Oh, yes, I will love the theatre. Yes, we see all the shows. <laughs> Enjoy them thoroughly. We can't wait. Toby Canavan is such a wonderful actor. Isn't he? Isn't he, though? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's the last thing we saw at The Citizens, Victor? Uh, Shakespeare. It was Shakespeare. Indeed it was, yes. Which one was it again, Victor? <laughs> 
Romeo and Juliet. So <laughs> <laughs> Ponko all right for you? Oh, aye, perfect, aye. Ready to order? Eh, hey, just a soup and a spaghetti, son. I'll take the minestrone and the bolognese. Oh, yes, as will I. <laughs> <clears throat> would you ladies care for a glass of wine? That would be lovely. <clears throat> Where are your seats? Oh, the seats, um, let's tell you that. B13 and B14. We're 15 and 16. We could sit boy, girl, boy, girl. Oh. <laughs> boy, girl, boy, girl. <laughs> you must be well chuffed, eh, Bobby? No. Huh? Look around you. This place, it's gone like a fair. You can hardly hear the jukebox for the till. Well, it doesn't help when he sent two of my regular Friday night customers to the theatre. It's any consolation, Bobby. They'll be having just as miserable time as we are. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where are you from? Kilmacall. Oh, that's nice. When Mrs. Husband died, she sold her house. And by the way, she made an absolute fortune on it. Stop it, you! Well, you did. She moved in behind me. In fact, when I'm on the tennis court, I just shout over the hedge and ask her over for a game. But we're both rubbish. We just do it as an excuse to drink pims in the afternoon. <laughs> so are you widowed? No. No, I'm divorced. Long time ago now. Blonde secretary. But I got my own back. I got myself a good lawyer, thank God, and got what I was due. Mm. Well, that's uh, good news. Mm. So you two are brothers? Hey, oh, yeah, brothers, I. Yes, of course, uh, Jack's a couple of years older than me. Don't <laughs> <laughs> start with your lies, Victor. He's actually two years older than I am. So are you retired, the both of you? Oh, yes, yes. We sold our business. Oh, what sort of business did you have? A beetroot. <laughs> Sending it all over the world. You'd be surprised how lucrative it is. Then, yeah, of course, we sold the business, then we split it right down the middle, you know. I'm good to myself, I don't mind telling you that, and I have been. Yeah. I was a little bit shrewder with my money. I uh, invested it and tripled it in a year. Mm -hmm. a very clever man, my older brother. And sadly, my wife died, but she was independently wealthy, you see. So that brought me right back up on a par financially with Victor again. Then, unfortunately, my wife died. And she left me enough to race away back in front of you, <laughs> Jack. So you're men of leisure? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not indeed? And now this next lot are on us. Now you've got the last three now. <laughs> right. Trippled it in a year. Excuse me, older brother. <laughs> Time's right, though, isn't it? It's good being somebody else for a wee while, isn't it? Aye, aye. Well, it's all well and good, but... They're nice ladies. Maybe we should just ease off a little bit in the tall tales, eh? Oh, yeah. Otherwise I'd expect to run up the road in a Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, we'll just cool it down, right? It's marvellous, though, isn't it? Sitting here suited and booted, chit-chatting with a couple of good-looking dames. Takes years off you. Aye. Oh, look, they're coming back. Now, let's just keep yeah. on letting the porkies, yeah, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Hey. Oh, that's good. Up your gossips. Chin-chin. <laughs> <laughs> Chin-chin. <laughs> I've got a boat. Oh, how romantic. So it's Captain Jack. Hi, hi, ma'am. Oh, yes, uh, it's a 40 footer, all singing, all dancing. Berth six comfortably. More of a landlubber myself. I summer at my retreat in Kenya. Um, do you uh, get to the country often? Which country? The Scottish countryside. Oh, no, no, not as often as we'd like, eh, Jack? No. It's, um, but, but we have friends that live in Blair Tannach. Um, they're always entertaining. In fact, we're going there tomorrow for a bit of shooting and then later at dinner and a party. Would you like to join us? Cameron always welcomes any friends of ours. Hey, Victor, 
Oh, that would be wonderful, yes. Uh, tomorrow? Give us a number and we'll call you in the morning with how to get there. <laughs> It'll be lots of fun. It's only for the one night. Overnight? Yes. The drinking goes on till the wee hours. Right. We'll bring our jammies. <laughs> <laughs> you might not need them. <laughs> This is Jack. What do you need in a case that size for? Stuffing it. It's an overnighter we're going to, not three weeks in the Queen Mary. Well, you're probably underpacked. I know what I'm doing, boy. Right, get it open and we'll see if you know what you're doing. Right. Voila. Here we go. Gardening gloves. What do you need these for? Uh, brambles. Thicket. Jaggy nettles and that. Not required. Torch. Uh, start in the country. We're not shooting at night, Jack. What'd you pack cheese for? I like cheese. So do you are. So do the toffs. There'll be no shortage of cheese. So not of the cheese, then? Not of the cheese. Mosquito net. Hmm, in January. Not needed. Neither is the loaf, <laughs> pillow, or the bleach. <laughs> or, in fact, the wellies. Oh, wait a minute. I'll, 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 I'll need the wellies. You'll no need wellies. Toff's houses are full of wellies. They've got rooms specifically designated for wellies. They're welly daft. No, well, I'm saying you're way off in the wellies, Victor. Aye, well, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 Jack. I'll get Good morning. How may I help you? <laughs> Whom may I say is calling? One moment, please. <laughs> sir? Sir? Sir is making his way from the conservatory. Length of this hall. Oh, Hello yeah. there. Ah, good to hear from you. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, I've got a pen here, I find a way, right? Mm -hmm. Right, the Grange. Uh -huh. And the number. Oh, no number, just the Grange. And that's in Blair. Turn it. Okay. Aye, aye, I'll bring my wellies. Aye, aye. <laughs> I'll have loads of wellies, aye. Hold on a second. Take the wellies out the case, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, OK. No, no, listen, wait a minute. Don't send a driver for us. We've got our own driver. No, no, that's fine. All right, then, I'll see you then. Bye, then. Bye. Why'd you turn the lift down? Where are we going to get picked up for? This shithole. Aye. Blair Tunnock's in the middle of nowhere. You can't even get a bus. I know. Finally. Dan? Aye! Are you bringing the bloody stock or what? Uh, none of it. I need to go back to the cash and carry. I forgot. Curly whirlies. You can get down next time. No, no, no. If a job's worth doing well. So, what's in Blair Tunnock? That five quid was for petrol. It's no cash for questions. <laughs> what's the street? Hey, it's not a street. It's called the Grange. Ooh, the Grange. Right, that's you. Can I get out here, Tam? I know, because it looks bad. What are you doing, you imbecile? <laughs> Can you not see that we are receiving guests? Deliveries round the back. Take a poke at your arse, you prick. <laughs> Tam, take us back to the van. Come on, lads. What's going on? The suitcases tell me something, anything. Thanks for the theatre tickets. 